see the, the attack. But this is I won. And get the SR point. Damn it. Gazan and Jared were too late. Yes, so we can take out the captain. G Hound should pull out too. Captain, identified flying object approaching. That. Heart in blue. Angel confirmed. It's the sixth angel. Oof. Major Burren. Lane, why did you come back? Penelope can still fight. To waste its change. It's the way we are now. We can't fight these things. All units retreat. Lane, why aren't you retreating? Penelope can fight these bastards. You. If these things are just, just going to cause the third impact. We can just... Let them go? All right. I'm assuming that we can't just let them go, because otherwise you're saying, no, we can just cut and run and let third impact happen, which, why would you do that? All right, but don't you dare die. Yes, Major. Lana Bell, can you hear me? I'm Lieutenant Lane Abe of G-Hound. Propose we declare a temporary ceasefire and fight the angel as a united front. This is Commander okay. Commander Bright Noah. We accept your proposal. We appreciate your concern. That's unnecessary. We're just soldiers protecting the citizens, protecting the earth. Then it lay in aim, huh? Doesn't seem like a bad guy. Gian's retreated. Focus your fire on the angel. Wait a minute. Something else is still on the way. Really? It's Neo Zeon! There's mobile units. That's Zeon's Earth Forces. The Earth Forces. They invaded the Earth from space and stuck around and made the Earth their home. They're shooting at us! And we're their sole target? Are you kidding? <laughs> this is Londo Bell, Commander Bright Noah. Discontinue your assault immediately. If you ignore that angel, third, the third impact is guaranteed to happen. We're aware of that. What did you say? No intention of leaving here alive. We came here to take the Earth down with us. This is insane! Neo Zeon really wants the Earth to perish. Like, this bit happens in Gundam Unicorn, with like the remnants of Neo Zeon on Earth attacking uh, this one facility um, where one of the coordinates for, um, uh, for the uh, Gundam Unicorn is located and doing their big last stand against Earth Federation forces. But the thing is, stake-wise for that, it's just Neo Zeon forces against just Earth Federation forces. You don't have the literal looming apocalyptic level event of the fourth angel, the D8 of doom lingering, waiting to cause, on its way to cause third impact. <sighs> Zeon bastards, selfish to the bitter end. No, you just talk to that bunch. Stopping the angel of the first order of business. But he, he's got a beam angel with, beam cannon with unbelievable range and power. Oh, God. For those of you who are just listening in the background while watching this, Eva in Unbelievable is capitalized here. We still have to do this. Like, either that's an unintentional pun, or that's a weird case of autocorrect. Like, yes, it's, 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 it's autocorrect. That is somebody doing a find and replace for EVA, E-V-A. And we find and replace all instances of EVA with all caps, with an all caps version of that. That has to be what happens there. Wow, okay. Maybe I should make sure to try and do that with um, the episode title for when I edit this. <laughs> Uh, we still have to do this. Shinji, Ray. I know, thanks to that AT field, and even that beam. That's the spirit. We almost dreaming wasn't for nothing after all. Shinji, charge the angel and engage it in close compact. And Ray, you back him up. Roger. All units, don't worry about Zeon. Focus your attack on the angel. 
Third impact occurs because those self-involved bastards. Do whatever it takes to not let that happen, Shinji. Yes, ma'am. So, now the way this plate... Biosensors online! Okay, so I can't... I'm not in range of anybody. All right. Capital ships that haven't fired yet? Oh, you, you already acted. That's a problem. Um... Okay, this is gonna hurt. Hundred percent hit chance. Let's try flicker, because I've watched this episode, and if this hits you, it's gonna hurt like a like you wouldn't believe. Here we go. Demo on. We want to see this. I like that 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 was just using the rebuild of the Galleon model of these characters. Uh, of these robots, of, of the other, the, uh, of the angels, they change designs accordingly. for the alien for the uh, angels uses their energy too so I can work with that oh I can hit you from here with the fin funnels and Avro is maneuverable enough that you can't touch him Let's see what Amaro say about fighting the angels taken actual damage yet I think we've managed to avoid to take any serious hurt thus far all right you might hit Tobia Just you can't hit the iron wall because this could hurt this could suck otherwise <laughs> Everyone in range is basically using their most powerful attacks because, hey, it's the end of the world. We don't want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> 
よしよしいけるぞ I want to move you a little bit this way. Actually, I don't know if you're advanced or not, but this could be a little cover for the next attack. And level up. Nice. So this could possibly hit Hathaway, and we'll get to see how badly, or rather, how hard this thing hits. I am really glad I had the Venus A in position for that. Oh. Who hasn't gone yet? All right, joint tech control system. Assist. All right. Yes! Okay. Unicorn, have you acted? You have not acted. All right, active the NTT, NTD. It wears off in five turns, but... We gotta bring this guy down. Doesn't have the uh, crucifix uh, explosion on this, but then again, um, so the Singapore version, they might be that way in the Japanese version. That's two levels. Nice. We did it. It's no use. This keeps up. Oh. Oof. What? It restored itself. We gotta keep back to life until we destroy. The angel is going to keep coming back to life until we destroy its core. Its regenerative powers are extraordinary compared to the angels up till now. But their cores are deep inside their bodies, and the way they change state, there's no way to get to them. Nine, can you do the calculation? The core is loaded in the located in cent <clears throat> sorry, wrong voice. The core is located in the center of the angel. If we had a weapon that could penetrate the core in one shot, I think we might be able to destroy it. But it stops our high-powered attacks right at the surface. With an ultra high-powered firearm. Commander, if we could use the wave motion gun. No chance. If we use the wave motion gun on the Earth's surface, we have no idea what damage it could cause. The wave motion gun is only used as a last resort. We would use it at a time like this. What's this? What's going on? New and identified flying objects is approaching. 
Pattern blue. It's an angel. Another angel? Multiple angels occurring at the same time. Maybe a phase strike appeared at the same time. Maybe a phase shift occurred as a result of a connection with the parallel dimension. We're going to have to make additional changes to the schedule. It's no use. We do something fast. We're... Are you stupid? I believe the expression you're supposed to... Or to use the Japanese expression. Atabaka! A red Evangelion! Unit 02! Here I come! A new Eva! That's right, Daddy's boy! Huh? Just so you know, Eva Unit 2 here is a whole different animal from those Evas of yours. After all, Unit 00 and Unit 01 were just a prototype and a test type of the development process. But Unit 02 here is a different story. This one was actually created for real combat. The world's first genuine Evangelion. The world and only official model. And the unit pilot of Unit 02 is none other than me, Asuka Langley Shikinami. Shikinami. Unit 02, developed in Europe and operated by the second child, Asuka. Long time no see, Misato. Don't worry about two angels showing up. Now that I'm here, everything's under control. Commander Akari anticipated the situation and called Asuka in. To make the wrestling reference, it's clear that no one is ready for Asuka. But one more Eva isn't going to mean a thing to that diamond-shaped bad boy flying around over there. Damn it! The high mega cannon, the energy scatters. There's no way it'll pen be able to penetrate the core. Sloppy, sloppy, judo. A mobile suit. It's a Jihound unit. Commander Yazin, and you too, Lieutenant Jared. Seems you're having a tough go of it, Lane. Sorry. Bringing this guy we captured here took some time. Hey, is that a giant rifle on that mobile suit? It's a high altitude, second generation, self propelled. 760 millimeter Pisotron cannon. The Far East Headquarters of Earth Federation Forces ordered his custom gear for the EVA. Commander Kasaragi used that to blast out the core of the Sixth Angel. But turning on the battlefield would be if we don't, it's all over. Meanwhile, Kurtz is over here going, Daddy like. <laughs> Come on, give it here. I, I, I'm the professional sniper. I have the best sniper in the outfit. That's why you want to give it to me. Just give it, wait, no, no, why are you giving it to him? Wait, wait, give it back! Understood. Chinchi, get the Positron Cannon from G-Hound. Yes, ma'am. Ray, get the Silo 12. The defensive armaments have been completed. Yes, ma'am. With that shield, we should be able to stand the Angel's Blast Cannons at least somewhat. We'll protect Akari with this. That's our duty? It's our duty. The shield comes up. After the shield comes the sword. Here, take this, Evangelion. Well, this is the Positron Cannon. Shinji, I'll send you orders from there, so assume firing position. But the Eva can't supply enough maximum cannon energy to fire the Positron Cannon at maximum power. This war, we've just got to do the best of that. Okay, Yama Yamato, move to defend the Eva. Roger. Yama Yamato, full speed ahead. Akari, bring the Positron Cannon's cable to the hatch of the Yamato. That's a nice twist on this. Instead of drawing half the power from basically all of Japan, it's drawing, it's, you're basically turning the Positron Cannon into a focused wave motion gun. I like this. This is how you do really neat, neat things with the crossover like this. Tokugawa, send the electric power generated from the wave motion engine to the Positron Cannon. I said. Commander Akita, what's going on? Back when the Yamato activated the wave motion engine, people from around the world sent us energy. And now, as a defender of that same world, the Yamato is going to give energy to the EVA. This boost will be able to fire the Positron Cannon at maximum power. If he can take down the Seventh Angel, I don't think it's going to be that simple. Xeon, you're still coming after us? They're targeting Shinji. Can we stop Neo Xeon? That's the great Mazinger! Tetsuya, you leave it to me to defend the Eva. Huh? No way am I letting the world come to an end. We may have our differences, but they're the same as us. We'll handle Xeon, Lando Bell, you go after the angels. Yes, sir, Shinji, we're counting on you. Look how everyone's helping us. 
Hurry up, Akari. While the mobile units are holding off the angels, we'll start preparing to fire the Positron Cannon. Yes, sir. Here I thought of him just as Daddy's boy, but he's really got spirit, that kid. The kid's gutsier than he looks. He said his name was... Pronoun problems. She said her that her name was Asuka. Fighting the Seventh Angel is up to you and your Eva. After talk like that from the Federation's white meteor, what choice do I have but to fight? We're leaving the defense of Shinji to G-Hound and Tetsuya, and we'll fight the Angels. Forget about the Sixth Angel and focus your attack on the Seventh. If we can take that one down, we can secure a line of fire. This is a pretty difficult mission, taking out another Angel while dodging that beam cannon. Shinji is really starting to get the spirit, and so am I. Shinji, leave that Angel to us. We'll protect you so no matter what, so go for it. Everyone. It's all right, Ikari. Ayanami, you're not going to die because I'm going to protect you. Protect me? Sayonara. Wait! Okay. So I basically used most of my turns already. So this is the seventh angel. We gotta kill, drop him. So most of my guys have gone. Bang Ray is still in the fight. Super electromagnetic crossbow. Clearly from the from the fact that I couldn't use it again after I moved, that that's a uh, uh, range thing. Oh, no, that's a can't move and fire thing. Actually, you don't do it. I'm going to move you here. Hopefully, Ray has a... Nope, she didn't have a support attack. Okay. Alright, you have a 95% hit chance, so I'm going to want to use Flick. Don't have, have Flicker. Just intuition. If I play a really active role, they'll deport their attention to Londo Bell. Just watch me. I've got the honor of Chi Hound on my shoulders now. Can an angel be night one of the angels be naive? They just tanked it. So you complete AT Shield completely block that attack. So I'm probably going to want something with Barrier Breaker. Incredible! Suddenly all hell's breaking loose. Here's my chance to show what I can do. Check this out, Daddy's boy and Commander's pet. Behold the brand new Eva with me at the controls! Breaking the fourth wall there, are we, Ray? Or are you Asuka? That is a hell of a... So it looks like it actually... Broke through. This is actually the damage. All right. Oof. I am glad I used Flicker. Who hasn't gone yet? Three units.
Let's start with you. I've already seen Jared in action before. You think I'm gonna let monsters, DOZ on, or anyone else run roughshod under the earth? Here we go. We're gonna protect this planet no matter what. Oh, I guess this is basically led to Jared cutting the crap. Because in Zeta, he and the Titans gladly teamed up with a Neo Zeon. Killing monsters is another duty that soldiers have. Yasin, you used to be Neo Zeon! Fate of the world is riding on this battle. This is the ultimate thrill! The counterattack music now changes to um, a decisive battle. Not, that's a nice touch. I like that. Why seen her use funnel missile? Actually, well, those watch this would like to see the dialogue for this. No, Kurt, save that for the angel. This is a good different dialogue here. You sound very Lupon esque with that line, Kurt. I didn't find out you've ever voiced Lupon. Alright, so no, like, real special dialogue from these guys. For a fact, uh, to chew out Neo Zeon for... Oh, like, maybe... Maybe Shitose. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> So what you mean you blew up?
Position of the great Mazinger is to protect the world. This world. It's risky for Mazinger C to get close to an angel. We can end this battle in a flash. I have to break this to you. Mazinger Z is about to get really close to an angel. attack you have. I don't think I've seen he has a spider web attack. <笑>戦いを I've seen. I might have seen the Fetty Eaten Rifle, but. Oh, um, that's the. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry. Turn it itself into the blink of an eye. I want to stop this thing if it keeps recurring every time we smash it. Don't get hung up on attacking the sixth angel. Let Shinji take care of that. Our target is the seventh angel. Take that sucker down to secure the line of fire. Okay, so basically, a quick in game admonition. Um, if this guy shoots at you, dodge it or defend against it. Don't actually attack it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.